but um, best advice to a beginner starting out on the magic path david go mm, don't don't fret enjoy have fun make sure that every day you do it it's not work it's fun go to school like a kid like have fun learning all the letters of the alphabet all the numbers all the things that you're bombarded with when you're young that you've got to learn really fast along with how to walk and how to get along with other people you're like two or three years old i'm talking about here now and suddenly they're bombarding you with all this stuff you do it because you get through it because it's all fun take the child's heart and play with that go forward in your initiation with that man that was that was that that needs to be uh, uh encapsulated on a on a physical medium somehow that was perfect thank you bro um okay can i please uh james you're up next brother how would you uh answer this question of best advice to a beginner starting out on the path okay um well in addition to what david said absolutely keep it fun keep it light um if it's light it can, can be consistent uh, and i'll also say as well um you know keep your life in balance um don't suddenly you know, start wearing purple cloaks and, and staying in your room all day, reading books, um, get out, be, be amongst real people, be amongst people that also don't have anything to do with magic. Um, and that will keep you engaged in, in, you know, real life. And I think keep your path balanced. Um, it's amazing. We, we all go down the rabbit hole, but I think it's also so important, especially for a young person to keep their life on track and to ensure they don't end up at 45, 50 with lots of magical material and not much else. Great response. Thank you for that. Uh, Victoria. I would stay, say stay present to the process and don't focus on outcomes. The outcomes will come, but if you're too focused on achieving X, Y, Z, you're missing being present in the process that happens. And also be patient with yourself. When you go beyond time and space, you can realize I have hundreds of thousands of incarnations, more or less. You know, I have time. Meet yourself where you are. You know, give yourself grace. You are where you are and your journey is yours. So you don't need to compare yourself to what someone else has achieved or what they're capable of look at what you are capable of and push yourself uh, but also appreciate that there there is so much involved you know and that you're doing it for you too you know you're doing it for your own spirit's evolution your own personal growth you know you can be a benefit to other sentient beings at the same time while you're doing that um, but again just try to stay present to the process because life is just made of several slices of moments that all build up to make outcomes wonderful yeah totally you know like it's it's a long we're here for a um a, a good time not a long time but literally on the big span of things we literally are here for a long time so there's a long game there's plenty of time to enjoy uh just to cover on what everyone said you know fun man i tell you what keep your life fun you're going to be um, infecting other people with their fun too. So, uh, Aaron, um, now, uh, how would you respond to this, but maybe with more of a Qigong or, you know, anyway, I'll just leave it up to you, sir, because you might have your own school of magic. I don't know. Mate. Well, I'll just say that whether it's, it's Qigong or, or magic, I think a lot of people need to move away from the intellectual side of the study and actually getting into the practicality of it. A lot of people do a lot of reading. They do a lot of intellectual um acrobatics with the stuff but they don't actually apply it and it's not until you start to apply the information that you've been learning that you'll actually start getting some real value out of it yeah great great response you're absolutely right and it's so much more satisfying and meaningful i mean you know that's one of the reasons i enjoy doing the healing work is because you know you get to witness outcomes and then weigh them and go hang on this is a highly unlikely thing by conventional means isn't it curious and so yeah totally you're right i mean i've read a lot too but when I started doing the stuff and the doors open, way more interesting, way more fulfilling. Uh, Bob, what about yourself, sir? Uh, two things. One, journal. Oh, yeah. You know, there are things that in hindsight, you will notice that are easy to forget in the moment when it happens. So having that written record there in your own hand uh, keeps... A lot of us from going, I imagined that. Yeah, but you wrote it down. 
Yeah. Um, that's super important to have a schedule that you follow, you, you know, 30 minutes of regular practice every day, or even 15 minutes of regular practice every day at the same time over the course of a year, it just pays off in ways that two hours of practice irregularly generally don't. You know, if, if you really think what we're doing represents reality, then there's a skill aspect. And, you know, as everybody here mentions, you got the rest of your life to work on this. Just make sure you work on it. Otherwise, things can be very confusing and kind of haphazard, I guess. Um, you know, the stuff I worked on regularly really paid off. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's what I'd say. That's what I'd say for the most part. Awesome. Yeah. And great question too, because, you know, I think um, one thing that uh, uh, experience can bring to people who are looking to start out is, is like, man, I tell you what, you can save yourself a lot of time. I have to say journaling, there's a reason why you see Thoth with a pen in his hand, man. You know, like, you know, this journaling process in, its, in and of itself for myself has unlocked some incredible um, perceptual capabilities.